Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs and cross watchers. This is your tarot reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this is for the week of August 12th through the 18th, 2024. Before we begin, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Otter Spirit, beautiful jewelry company. And they have a website that has like one of my favorite website designs for people selling things where you literally just go on their website and you click your intention. So if you want to attract more money, more love, more health, more confidence, you just click on that word. And so it shows you all of their products that are aligned with that intention. And they sell jewelry like bracelets, necklaces, earrings, things like that, that are made from natural crystals and stones that are very much aligned with that intention. So it's like it's totally organized and you don't have to do your own research. And I love it. So I have a link and a coupon code uh, that I'll leave in the description and comments if you want to use it. It'll get you 20% off of your order there. Uh, they also have beautiful curated sets for each zodiac sign if you want like three beautiful bracelets uh, that correlate with your zodiac sign. So go ahead and check that out. First card out for you, Capricorn, is the Two of Pentacles. We have the Two of Cups. Wow. I'm telling you, there's love in the absolute air this week because you're the sixth sign I'm filming for halfway through the week and every sign just feels so loving and I just I feel like the universe this past these past two months or so has been trying to play cupid for everyone <laughs> whether single or in a relationship like trying to curate these dating experiences, these romance experiences for everyone. And of course, a ton of people I've noticed, like just collectively with the energy, have been resistant <laughs> to this, especially people who are single right now, have been resistant to this. Like, oh, well, I should just focus on my career, making money, my health, fill in the blank, whatever. And the universe keeps pressing the case, you know? <laughs> and you may have been noticing like dreams happening a lot, like falling in love, dreaming of, you know, connecting with someone, um, things like that. Because I mean, the number two is just popping up all over the place. I just glanced at the clock at 722, 22, so go figure. Um, yeah, the universe is really wanting you to prioritize your relationships right now, friendships as well, things like that. And here's the thing with the two of pentacles, you may be thinking, well, but Lara, like, there's other things I want to do. Like maybe you want to uh, save up a certain amount of money. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to fill in the blank, whatever it is. Like there's things in your personal life that you are much more focused on. And I feel like there is with Capricorns right now, a lot of beautiful intention behind what you're trying to do. I feel like a lot of Capricorn energy people right now are trying to leave the, wor the world a better place than when they entered it. And there's a lot of greater intentions. So for example, if your goals are in business, your business is one that is trying to help the culture or help the world in some way, shape or form. And you're like, this is my mission. I want to focus on this. And then you may be cursing the universe. Like, why do you keep giving me these messages and tarot readings and my dreams and everything about love, about romance? Like I have this other mission <laughs> I'm trying to focus on and spirits saying, I don't care. So <laughs> we have the sun coming out as well. Beautiful prosperity, happiness. And that's the thing, like love is, is in the air. It's, it's everything. And there is a lot more that you can actually do to serve on your quote unquote mission in life. Um, you can reach your goals much quicker, much faster when you find yourself in healthy relationships, friendships, and community. You know, you, and uh, you know what it is? I feel like spirit is really pressing this because a lot of Westerners specifically, a lot of people in modern culture um, has been gravitating more towards like an individualistic culture where everybody just watches after themselves and their own children and they're stepping away from that community vibe, which is really unnatural and not at all aligned with health and wealth and prosperity. You know, the most prosperous people 
are the ones with community. And you know, this is something a lot of people hate. Like for, I'll give you an example, like a real world Westerner example. A lot of people hate that like, you're like, oh, they only got into that high paying company job because they knew the people that worked there. I guess you gotta know people. Yes, you do. That is exactly the point I'm trying to make. Like, even if your goal is success in business and career and you, you're thinking like, I got to work my way to the top. If you're looking at it from an individualistic perspective, you are going to fail because it is not natural for humans to not be in a community in all areas of life. If you're trying to raise a family and you are on your own, you don't have any family members that are helping you, no neighbors that are helping you, no friends that are helping you, you're going to like develop like an autoimmune disorder or some sort of panic disorder or something like your stress levels are probably so elevated it's insane you know the it's not natural to be living so individualistically it's so important to have community and spirit is i i'm getting message directly from spirit it's like we are emphasizing this this message of love and relationships and community because it is the answer to your other goals and if you prioritize having those things in a healthy way it will propel you towards those goals and make you happy and healthy which is all the universe wants for you and well all spirit wants for you and yeah <laughs> i don't know what i was about to say we have the emperor coming out this has been sneaking out in everyone's readings this week definitely a strong foundation here i don't know why i'm thinking of like connecting with earth energy i don't usually view this as like an earth energy type of card but i think of the emperor actually i think of fire and i think of like mountains so i am wondering if there's like one or two people here who are like visiting um like geysers or volca volcanoes or something like that and i know that's very specific that won't resonate for everyone but yeah i'm seeing nature i'm also seeing um just really trying to take better care of yourself have a strong foundation for yourself and like i said this is um a lot of capricorns i feel are at a place where they're just trying to work save money, get themselves, their family into a good position. And if they're already in that good position, they're trying to give back in some way. And it's like, that's what I'm focusing on. I don't have time for love. I don't have time to make new friends, whatever. It's like, will you just shut up and do it? Like, just shut up and enjoy the relationships that life has to offer because everything in life should be balanced. Two of Pentacles. And I'm pretty sure we had a very similar reading last week. So I feel like you're still like incorporating this lesson into your life, this spiritual epiphany into your life. There's like spiritual downloads coming through the crown chakra and um, different experiences that may be coming through, different ideas. Like I'm seeing, listen to your spontaneous urges as well when it comes to communicating with people or putting yourself out there because that may bring you closer to um to beautiful relationships and community page of swords yeah new communication coming through this could be talking to someone new this could be feeling this random urge to reach out to someone this week i would say do it even if it doesn't work out like let's just say you reach out to an old friend and they ghost you like they leave you on red and they don't answer that alone will have you cutting that cord blocking that person moving away moving on from them and then you now have new energetic space for these relationships to come in okay you, like sometimes you don't have space in your heart because you're still strongly attached um energetically to other people and i feel like there's only so much room in your aura for beautiful souls to enter and it's not to say that like when i say cutting the cord it doesn't mean you just immediately stop loving someone or like you just forget everything about them like no it's like that love is still there that nostalgia is still there but you know you're just freeing up space in your present moment if that makes sense final card out queen of swords more communication and also really good boundaries and this is what i'm i, I really want to emphasize healthy relationships healthy community is what helps you propel these goals forward okay nothing toxic and i feel like a lot of you already have dealt with the toxic in the past and it's like you don't need me preaching to you how to not get back into that toxicity because you already know okay like there is no way in heck you're going back there and yeah there's just an overall maturity 
and a lot of metamorphosis happening when it comes to your community and the people around you at this time you know it's like embracing the people who are here for you in the present moment communicate like seeing who is here for you and and you know possibly opening yourself up to new people new experiences which is really exciting um especially when you click when it's you know like charismatic it's chemistry it feels really great and i'm seeing so much happiness for you in your relationships and communication and and company this week so definitely if you feel guided to make that a priority make that a priority and don't feel bad about it at all because you can make that a priority while still continuing to work on your mission whatever that is okay thank you guys so much for joining me definitely watch for your sun moon rising and venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead like this video comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box spiritpsychic.org I also offer my intention oils there, spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check that out. And also check out Otter Spirit. Link down below for 20% off. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.